man. It, like, let's can I talk about the Hollywoodization on like, yeah. movies or movies? Like, you can take some generalization. Like, I take from the Jason Bourne thing. I take that they're able to brainwash people. You know, right. they they found ways to do that. But all the Jason Bourne, him being an assassin, that's Hollywood bullshit. They you they fucking brainwash people, use a drug addict, fuck kill you, or suicide you, and that's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tie off all the loose ends, and that's it. It's not like it's not like the movies. People thought it was like the movies that if if they hired a hitman and shit like that. Dog, it, it's way deeper than that. <laughs> it's they're they're way the white folks in DC in Virginia are way deeper than that. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm yeah. trying to tell you. I mean, you go to the carnival and the white man called 80 of y'all up there on stage, hypnotize your ass, turn you into a goddamn horse. How you thinking you naked on stage acting a damn fool? They hypnotize you, right? Mm -hmm. Then when you tell people that they can hypnotize somebody for the damn murder, y'all say it's not possible. But they show you <laughs> at the damn carnival. You don't think the government could do that? If the man at the carnival could do it, He's selling DVDs on how to hypnotize people. Y'all over here talking about, oh, it's not possible, but your auntie on stage running around barking. Boy. Not only that, they got a fucking drug in, in, in the wild that does that can do that. You know, make people right. fucking, they tell you, oh, they give you the drug. It's like, go to the ATM, get, take all your money out, give it to us. And those motherfuckers have been doing it. Right. They've been doing that shit. So you don't think the fans don't know how to fucking... Oh, my God. I'm just like, come on. Y'all got it. <laughs> uh, I, want, I want all... I want all possibilities on the table. You know what I mean? Right, right. You know, right. all possibilities need to be discussed. It needs to. Nipsey is so big; he needs a proper and thorough investigation, and no stone stone needs to be unturned. Right. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that niggas is just like, ah, oh, a nigga did it. A nigga did it. It's just like, oh, wow. Man. Yeah, what's their hard on with Doctor Sebi, man? Yo, and then the whole Sebi thing. That's the first thing they bring up, man. Cause that's the that's the whole tap doctor. <laughs> that's the whole tap doctor that we've been telling them about. That they waited till Forks Over Knives hit Netflix. You know what I mean? In the other white documentaries, when the white documentary said it, it was valid. You know what I mean? When I was going around Ali Shakur talking about the good teachers of Doctor Sebi. Nobody wanted to pay attention. As soon as Dr. Phil got on the internet talking about eat kale, here they come. <laughs> right? Now they want to say, now they want to say that Dr. Sebi wasn't important enough. Yet, all right, let's take his black face out since y'all don't like his black face. Since y'all hate black people. Since black people hate black people. What about the other 70 odd doctor, holistic doctors gone missing and, and, and died? Then you go and, and do the Snopes on it, right? You do the Snopes on it and they say, oh, it's false, right? Then you read the Snopes article and they make excuses for five of the 70 lives. Like, well, this one was this one, this one, this one. I account for the other 65. How you gonna tell me it's false? You still ain't do the other 65, Snopes. This is how you gotta watch out for the fake news. Definitely, definitely. You know, they definitely ran with that Dr. Uh, Semi thing. You know, I'm like, oh, come on, man. Like. Like okay, let's th let's take it out of that. You know, what I mean, uh, I think uh, what's his my man said he's going to keep. You know, Nipsey was going to do the documentary on Doctor Sebi. If people don't know what we're talking about, and uh, um, my man, um, who's who's taking up the documentary? Um, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon said he's going to finish the documentary. Uh, God bless uh, Nick Cannon. Um, right. You going to play the rest of the joint? Or you? No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um. So, but even take just take that out. You know what I mean? Um. Nipsey is an, an important, as you can see from the reaction, he was an important, uh, if, if it was funny, I'll give them that because I wouldn't have really thought about that. I mean, I guess if I had thought about it hard, I would have said Nipsey would have been uh, uh, real hard because, you know, he re everybody does respect him. You know, even Scott, you know, he even beat the LGBT trying to get back. <laughs> like, there's shots at him. You know, and it kills me. You know, I went back today. And just Google search Nipsey and Hotep. And before all this happened, they was calling Nipsey Hotep, slandering his name. Now, look at the look at it now. See, we shouldn't have to bow down to these other groups because they really don't have the numbers. 
You know, when it comes down to it, everybody shut, they all shut the hell up on this one. But, you know, it, it's, and that dude, George, what is his name? George, George John. M. Johnson. Dog, man. <laughs> From Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. LGBT decided to write this article. What was the title? I'm looking it up right now. Go ahead. Tell tell the people what happened while I'm looking up. Looking yeah, you know, everybody's clout chasing, you know what I mean? And, you know, Nipsey had said, uh, said it wasn't even a controversial uh, statement, but, you know, certain sectors said he was being homophobic when he really wasn't. He was just supporting, you know, the boys that were there. And it was like a, a kid's school. And, you know, he, people will try to get him out of there for that. But, you know, people like Nipsey. So it was like, it, well, he, did, he didn't even mean it anyway. So now that he died, you know, and all the outcry, you, you know, this this guy, he, I, you know, I think NBC, the NBC posted it on there as an opinion piece. I'm like, this is like major, major mainstream publication. You know, this is what this black man is going to put out there writing about another black man that just lost his life. Because, you know, his, his, his um, <laughs> what he does does on the outside is more important to him than the mission overall. This there it is right there. Nipsey hustles murder, homophobia, and the toxic black masculinity that fuels it. He wants to use Nipsey hustles death to pr- push toxic black masculinity propaganda. <laughs> what kind of shameful human being would do something like this? Like seriously. And then, and then, and then look, I want to find this tweet. Sure enough, today the fool goes, Oh, oh, here it is, right here. I'm now represented by a film agent. I'm so thankful she sees power in the stories I'm telling and willing to help make it to the next level. Hollywood called him right up. <laughs> See? It's a shame, man. He went and did the white man dirty work. The other <laughs> white man for the dirty work. And they said, good job. We got a job for you. You, you proved your, you, you're ready. Nipsey Hussle's murder, homophobia, and the toxic black mask. I'm tired of black death, but I'm equally tired of those attempting to hold on to ideals that have been proven to cause so much pain and fear. Lord have mercy. This is uh, George M. Johnson, a traitor to the uh, black community at large. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted by that, bro. I'm really, really disgusted by that. Um, but it just goes to show you, it just goes to show you what's being in play here, right? Mm-hmm. When we said there was a an agenda, everybody said, "Oh, y'all crazy." This, that, and the third. Y'all hating, da 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 da. But fast forward, and it's all manifesting. NBC News, this ain't this rinky dink platform. Right. I'm so, like, I was shocked. I'm like, what the hell is this, man? You see what I'm saying? The white man said, I'll give you a platform to do this. <laughs> he went and, and now now I wanna I wanna find somewhere in that thread, but in the thread, uh, when he posted the story. Or when he retweeted the story and started defending it because everybody started getting at him, he said, "I didn't create the title; they did." You shouldn't even wrote the piece. <laughs> See what damn, mean? like what? This is what we're talking about. You know what I mean? If black men are going to have some kind of camaraderie, we can't be like, "Oh, well, I'll write." It. We need a we need a, a hit piece on Nipsey Hussle's death. We need an alter. We don't have to. You know, praise him in his in his death or anything. We want a hit piece. Let's talk about homo, uh, homophobia and, and toxic masculinity. I'll do it. You don't raise your hand, black man. You're like, no, I ain't doing that. Oh, no, that's what that's your answer, Mister Johnson. Exactly. Exactly. God, damn. I want to say so much else, man. I don't want to get the show banned. I don't want to get the channel banned. I would really go in on that Joker, man. I had to really refrain from talking about that dude. I blocked him. I can't. I can't deal with that dude, man. I'm like. Man, he's so disgusting, man. He's a disgusting human being. He really is. He really is. He's been at this for a while, and this was like his, his the icing on the cake right here. 
uh, for for his shenanigans. He's like, uh, he makes what's the name look good. The dude from the root. <laughs> it, 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 it's like they battling for who could just destroy straight men. You know what mm. I mean? And they to do that on on Nip Nipsey's grave like that. Oh man! Oh.